really got to ask ourselves, what is this homosexual agenda really about? Because if there wasn't one, the West wouldn't be going so hard to impose its sexual imperialism on African countries like Ghana. Currently, Ghana just passed the anti-LGBTQ law and the West is now threatening that it's going to lose $3.8 billion in funding. And because of this, the president of Ghana seems to be backpedaling against signing the bill into law. And I'm like, are you really going to sell the Solia people for some dollars when you have access to all the resources and the raw materials that the world needs? Anyway, take a listen to Sam George. Watch the whole video. Very insightful and empowering. He is one of the main ones that got the bill pushed in Parliament. And we need more African leaders like Sam George. Sam George for president because he clearly has a voice, a backbone, and he's not with the puppetry bullshit. That the United States is deeply troubled by the passage of the legislation. Uh, and he's saying that this will indeed um, uh, affect a lot of persons who live in Ghana. I expect the leaders of our country, the president of our country, to stand shoulder high and tell the American people, you either do business with us on our terms or you can walk. If you think that because we are protecting our cultural values and saying no to LGBTQ. You want to lose $100 million in profit, pack up and go. Another company will come into Ghana and do business. Ghana is a fertile ground for business. Look, Africa must begin to assert our rights. We, we are not puppets and stooges of the West. Carter buys a billion dollars of, of military hardware every year from America. The punishment for, for homosexuality in Qatar is death. In Nigeria, the punishment in your law for same-sex marriage is 14 years in prison. The maximum in Ghana's law collapsed. Has Uganda's economy collapsed? We need to begin to stand. The American economy would not run and the Western economies would not run without African raw material. I think it's time we begin to look at adding value to our own raw material. If we begin to assert ourselves, these guys will know that they have to deal with us on, on, on equal terms. The best economists on Wall Street are Ghanaians and Nigerians. They're not better than us. We sit in the same classroom with them and beat them every day. Academically, intellectually, we're better than them. But it's simply because we've not asserted our rights as Africans, because we want to go for cheap hand-me-downs. Let's bear in mind, the people who lose their identity have lost their, their, their nation. The European and, and American communities and, and society have failed because they've redefined family. They've lost the sense of what it means to be family. And that's what they want. It's that kind of mental aberration and mental disorder that they want to import into our, our, our countries. You cannot continue to deal with cultural imperialism and say that it is a secondary matter. Our identity as Ghanaians is a principal matter for us. And that's why we've pushed this bill. Because in 2021, spent $200 million buying antiretroviral drugs to take care of HIV AIDS for people who choose to have sex, men who choose to have sex with men. And so the government had to spend $200 million. Now, do you know how many school buildings in my constituency $200 million would have built? Or how many hospital beds that would have created? And so when somebody says that it is not a pressing issue, it's because they don't understand the full effect of homosexuality on, on society. We're dealing with getting enough beds for our women to, have birth, to give birth when, we, when they are pregnant. And we should now begin to divert those resources to stitch up the backsides of men who have chosen to go and have sex with men when they begin to have anal tears and anal wear, uh, what, what? I mean, why should we be spending resources on that? We should be channeling the resources into areas that we need. Go, go and check the American system and see how many people are committing suicide because of the effect of homosexuality. The CDC says that homosexuals are 400% more likely to be suicidal. Do you know the effect of suicide on the GDP of a country? Do you know the fact that the, the, the young man who walked into a school in the United States three months ago and shot up 22 kids was transgender? And this all came from a mental disorder because of him having undergone uh, a gender change or gender reassignment when he was eight years old? Just look, even on the African continent, which country has the highest crime rate? South Africa. Why? Because they've embraced homosexuality. It's one of the growing factors in that country. Look at every country that has embraced this and look at what has happened to their crime rate. 
this has ripple effects on society as a whole. We're not going to import the sickness and, and, and troubles of another country. We've got enough on our, on our hands in Ghana and in Africa. I mean, we really got to ask ourselves, what does this homosexual 